asteroid Apophis, skimming our world on April the 13th in the year 2029 at a distance of 17,000 miles or less from our planet's surface. The European Space Agency, in collaboration with other space agencies like NASA, is actively planning missions related to asteroid Apophis, the infamous near-Earth asteroid that will pass exceptionally close, closer than some of Earth's satellites and visible to the naked eye in parts of the world. The European Space Agency recently announced interest in a rapid response mission to Apophis, potentially sending a spacecraft to observe, orbit and land on the asteroid during or before its flyby in 2029. And they want to do this to study how Earth's gravity affects the asteroid during this flyby, gathering critical data to refine future impact risk assessments. And they will also map Apophis' surface and internal structure, and maybe, maybe even blowing it to smithereens. And speculation is growing is not just a scientific mission. Instead, it might serve as a public-facing operation masking a covert planetary defence manoeuvre. Several global entities of defence are keeping an eye on this, including the US Space Force and Russia's Roscosmos, who have already modelled kinetic impactor strategies and nuclear deflection techniques. The official line is that Apophis won't hit us in 2029, but some scientists worry that gravitational keyholes could be triggered, changing its orbit and setting it on a collision course for future encounters, perhaps in 2036 or later. This asteroid is the size of the Empire State Building in New York City. Its energy is estimated at 1,200 megatons of TNT, and that is nearly 24 times the largest nuclear bomb ever detonated. Russia's SAR bomb. If it hits the ocean, it's possible that it could only cause coastal destruction on a continental scale. However, a land impact will cause immediate vaporisation of city-scale areas, widespread firestorms and global economic shock instantly. Or if it blows up in the sky as an atmospheric entry airburst, then we could be looking at another Tunguska-scale event. The 2029 flyby is a close cosmic encounter. This is a preview of our planetary vulnerability. And we won't see Apophis again until the year 2027, when we will find out if asteroid Apophis has been perturbed in the asteroid belt, and if indeed has its trajectory been altered. We won't know for two years. And in any case, gravity from planet Earth will slightly alter Apophis's orbit which could determine whether future encounters are harmless or catastrophic. Space agencies around the world continue to frame asteroid Apophis missions as purely observational. The timing, the trajectory and the history of the asteroid raise real questions. This could indeed be a covert deflection test, masked as a scientific mission, a space-age Trojan horse of peace hiding a shield of war. But what do you guys think about this? Comments below. And as always, thank you for watching.